I'm Shia Holland. I'm a junior at Thomas Jefferson. Start the dance! <laughs> right. Dear boy in the cafeteria who said he wanted to bang a fat chick, I know that I am not your mother, but I have no problem putting you in your place, and I'm definitely not as disappointed as yours probably is. I would just like to say that I am disgusted by the fact that you have the audacity to approach someone this way. It's revolting, and clearly you didn't pick up on the proper way to hold a decent conversation with someone when we learned how to in kindergarten. You should respect people, treat them the way you want to be treated, and I'm sure you don't want someone you've never talked to before screaming sexually explicit things to you while you're just trying to hang out with your friends. It's ridiculous that you feel so entitled to women's bodies that you think you have the right to talk to one the way you have. Newsflash, you don't. You have no right to sexualize a body you don't understand or respect. I don't need your blessing to know that I am godly. You should know that you calling me fat doesn't bother me. I know that I am so much more than what some random teenage boy thinks of me. I realize that there's absolutely no wrong way to be a woman, just wrong ways to treat a woman. I have spent years learning how to love this body and I don't have time to deal with boys who don't know how to love it the way I do. But maybe, just maybe, I can find it deep in my heart to find... I can find it somewhere deep in my heart to forgive you because after all, you're just a teenage boy who probably doesn't understand how babies are made and thinks it's cool to address women as fat chicks and that they are probably put on this earth to satisfy him. I don't understand how you can try to, se try to sexualize a body you that you are disgusted by once a month for three to seven days. You don't get to sexualize me when society still sees it, sees it as wrong for me to sexualize my own body and my anatomy is seen as so taboo I have to whisper that I need feminine products. <laughs> I am waiting for the day that my body is not seen as a commodity that I don't get to use and the way my body works is not seen as a natural curse. I know all too well that I am more than what is between my thighs and it's not like you know what to do with this if you could get it so I don't see why you're trying. <laughs> you don't even know how to speak to me with enough respect to ask my name before asking to enter my temple. Degrading someone so they will have, a, so they will have sex with you is, is problematic and likely to be ineffective and just so we're clear, you'll never have sexual relations with this woman. Because contrary to popular belief, as a woman, I don't owe you anything, and you are not entitled to my body or anyone else's but your own. Also because my father taught me that any man that is worth my time will approach me respectfully and will treat me like the ethereal being that I am. I know my worth and purpose, and it's definitely not to be some random boy's wet dream, because we all know that the only time you will ever be intimate is in your dreams. <laughs> Stop treating women like they are objects that you can use whenever it feels right to you. We are all more than that. We are goddesses that you will never be holy enough to touch no matter how long you soak your hands in holy water and pray over them. Our bodies produce blessings that you are not capable of understanding because you don't understand that we are not here for you to use as you please. Here's some advice. Until you learn to worship women the way you want them to worship you, stop trying to have sex with them. Sincerely, the fat chick in the cafeteria. Yes!